The building energy fees are sweltering you? Aren't you looking for a cheaper energy source? Solar architecture is a solution to reduce heating and cooling fees in the building. There are two ways to use solar architecture, passive systems and active systems. In active systems, mechanical and electrical devices are used to collect solar energy, but in passive systems, building elements are designed and built with the aim of collecting, storing, reflecting, and distributing solar energy. The Trombe wall is one of the simplest solar passive systems. In this system, sunlight first hits a surface and then the energy is transferred to other spaces. Basically, the Trombe wall is a solid and flat wall that is built parallel to the equator. This wall will be covered with glass on one side, and an air layer will be placed between the wall and this glass layer as insulation. For the first time, the Trombe wall was used in a house located in Princeton. This two-story building had 50 square meters of Trombe wall, which was made of concrete and painted black. According to the data collected from this building, the Trombe wall system reduced heating fees by 70%. The greenhouse effect has a positive effect on the performance of the Trombe wall system. The sun's heat passes through the glass in the form of short wavelength radiation easily, and then it is re-emitted in the form of radiation with a longer wavelength that cannot easily pass through the glass. Therefore, the heat gets trapped and remains in the space between the wall and the glass. Trombe walls are made thick and with materials that have high heat capacity. Therefore, if we have a wall with enough mass, the wall can function as a heater all night long. But if the wall is built too thick, it will take too long to transfer the collected thermal energy, and the room will not receive enough heat during the hours when it needs heat the most. Likewise, if the wall is built too thin, it will transfer heat too quickly, and as a result, the room will overheat during the day. Water can be used instead of building materials in the construction of trombe walls, water has a high heat capacity. This feature helps us to store more energy in a smaller volume, building a wall parallel to the equator, keeping a minimum distance of 10 centimeters between the wall and the glass, and painting the wall with dark colors are three golden rules in designing a trombe wall. In the early designs of the trombe wall, there were vents on the walls to allow the heat to spread with natural ventilation, but now we know that these vents are inefficient. Designing a trombe wall as a half wall is a new approach in designing trombe walls. The upper part receives heat directly during the day, while the trombe wall stores heat for use at night. Now, as an architect, what is your opinion about the Trombe wall and its use in the building? 